Hello, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Yesterday, in my last video, I left you with the question, if there was no sin, why did Jesus have to die? So just to, in a nutshell, basically what I said was sin is a byproduct of generational rules, standards, and behaviors that are passed down, not genetically, but behaviorally to human society. And it's done by religion, governments, culture, family, as well as other means. So that is the definition of sin by itself, okay? Um, so why did Jesus have to die? Simply put, he didn't. Remember, Jesus was sent as a physical representative of the true God. So he taught the truth about God and displayed qualities and personality traits and values of the true God, which was his mother or mother God. The book of Judas, which didn't make it in the conventional Bible that we know, is proof of this. He did not represent the God that his own so-called apostles represented. It's why he cared and defended women at a time when women were viewed as very inferior. And that is still like that today, depending on what culture you're in, some more so than others. Um, and one very good example of this is found at John chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. And this is where Jesus basically comes to the defense of a woman who was accused of adultery. Not only did he tell these ones that were accusing her that she needed to be stoned, that if there's someone without sin or mistakes, they should be the first one to throw the stone. Well, of course, anyone who is humble knows that they've made mistakes. So, of course, no one threw the stone. But not only did Jesus say this to them, but he literally stayed there the entire time with this woman until all of those people were left and she was safe. And then he himself told her that she was forgiven for her mistakes or sin. And because of that, she could go on her way without guilt and shame as long as she didn't repeat the same action again. Now, what's interesting to note is that the Bible that the Jehovah's Witnesses publish left this completely out of their translation because they don't want their followers knowing the side of Jesus who actually loved and respected women and not only loved and respected, but protected them because once again, it was from the source from which he came. Moving on, since Jesus did this, he did this many times, but this is one case that I brought out. Not only was he a threat to the law, as you know, these ones were saying, the law of Moses, but he also was a threat to society as a whole if too many were to become disciples of Jesus. So also for the rebel God, Jesus was the ultimate blood sacrifice. Remember, he loves sacrifices, whether it's animal blood, human blood. He loves sacrifices to himself because he, he thirsts for blood. That is what he likes. Blood, death, suffering, all of that. So for this rebel God, Satan, Jehovah, whoever you want to address him as, Jesus was the ultimate blood sacrifice. Not only would Jesus' death hurt the true God, but it would open up a way for this rebel God to establish himself as a God to all Christians throughout history. This God would spread Christianity throughout the earth by any means necessary even killing innocent people to do so. And we all know history can attest to this. It's why he instructed people 
also in the Bible to pray through Jesus because it was through Jesus that people could actually address him as God. But the problem with this whole situation about Jesus is that if humans knew the truth and the motives about this rebel God in association to Jesus, no one would want to worship him. So that's why this beautiful narrative or story had to be concocted in order to make the death of Jesus acceptable. Father God, this rebel God, commemorates this horrible occasion every year by means of the memorial or communion, whichever religion you're associated with, which is actually a disgusting satanic ritual celebrating the death of the true God's representative so that he could have the honor and the glory of be, being called God. Jesus was killed because the rebel God, Satan, Jehovah, wanted to glorify himself to hurt the true God and keep society bound by laws, rules, and doctrines. That's why Jesus died. Now, Jesus knew that his teachings would be a threat to those who wanted to stay in power, and he knew he would ultimately be killed. Remember what I said about spirit creatures and death? They don't actually fear death. But in the physical form, obviously, they feel pain. So Jesus' death was not a simple, easy one. It was very... Ex okay. <laughs> Sorry. It was excruciating. So, yeah, we're just going to pass over that part. We don't need to know the details. You can imagine what it was like. Um, so, yeah, he knew he would eventually be killed because of what he was teaching. Um, but he knew he would also return at the appointed time to once again declare not just the truth about, you know, how to live the true God, but also to place judgment upon those religions who misrepresented Jesus as well as the true God. And just a fun, not fun, but a note about the cross, the symbol of the cross. It is actually a good thing. It's a sign that shows you believe in Jesus. Therefore, you believe in the true God. Who Jesus actually represented. That's why Jehovah's Witnesses abhor the cross and deny it and act like it never existed because it represented the true God by means of Jesus Christ, not the God that they serve. Now you know why they do not use the cross in worship. Hopefully, this was clear enough for all of you to understand. Once again, if you have any questions um, about what I'm saying, please direct message me in Instagram or you can feel free to email me or always comment. Um, I know it's confusing for all of this information to basically come out, but I think it's good for people to know the other story. Because like I said, it's been hidden from humans on purpose. Okay, that's it for today. I'll probably make a health and wellness video because mother actually wants humans to take good care of themselves. And that includes health and wellness. So I'll do a short video next time about that. All right. Have a good day. Take care. And don't forget to enjoy life. Bye.